Hey Jim, this is Connor Murray calling from X Company. How you doing? Good, I'm just reaching out because, insert talk track. All right, so there it is. How to nail the first seven seconds of a cold call. And before you think to yourself, all he said was how you doing? How is this new? How is this groundbreaking? Let me share with you the specific techniques I use to make this an effective cold call opener. Because it is not what you say that's important, it's how you say it. So the first technique I use is with that first line, I signal that all I want is a formality and that that's what I'm giving them. So if you listen one more time, I said, hey Jim, this is Connor Murray calling from X Company. How you doing? That downward inflection. I didn't say, hey Jim, this is Connor Murray calling from X Company. How are you today? That's a more friendly, inviting tone. The first one signals that I'm here, I mean business, I'm being concise, and I'm not gonna waste your time. The second one sort of signals that you are more open to having a conversation and might keep them on the phone for a while. And you gotta remember, you just got these people out of the blue in the middle of their workday. They don't want their time wasted, and that's actually what they're concerned with. So the first one signals, hey, I am not here to waste time. The second one, even though it's friendlier and it's more tempting to do that, it signals to them that you're not respecting their time and that you can just cold call them in the middle of their work day and they have all day to talk to you. They're not busy. So it's actually that more concise tone that people appreciate, even if it's subconscious. So the second part is after I get that formality from them, typically they'll say, uh, good, how are you? I deliver on my promise and immediately go into what I'm talking about and what I'm calling about by saying, good, I'm just reaching out because and then I go right into my talk track where I tell them who I am, why I'm calling, and what I want, which is time on their calendar. So that's my line. I say, good, I'm just reaching out because you can also say, good, the reason I'm calling is it's not the words that are important here, even that first part. It's really a two-step process of get a formality from them and then deliver on your promise that you're not here to waste time and go right into why you're calling. So the reason this also works is I don't ask permission at the beginning of the call. It reduces variance. So a lot of people like to lead off their call asking like, hey, did I catch you at a bad time? Or hey, do you have 30 seconds for me to tell you why I'm calling? The reason I don't like that is because it opens the door for variance. And what I mean by variance is they could easily say, uh, no, I'm actually going into a meeting right now. Or no, this is a bad time. Um, call me back later, how'd you get my number? Stuff like that. I don't wanna risk having to deal with that, so I really wanna get good at that strong first line and just say, hey Jim, this is Connor Murray calling from X Company. How you doing? You could also say, hey Jim, this is Connor Murray calling from X Company. How are you? Find the words that are comfortable for you, but step one is get the formality, and then step two is deliver on your promise that you're serious and you're here to be concise and not waste time and just say, good, I'm just reaching out because this is how you can make cold calling an easy and repeatable process for yourself. I don't have to think or worry about my cold call opener because I know it's gonna go that way pretty much every single time. Yes, it's not always gonna work, but the goal is to reduce variance as much as possible. I don't like to get too cute or fancy with my cold call openers. Ideally, in a perfect world, it goes that same way every time, and then I more focus on that middle piece, that pitch, the talk track, the value statement, whatever you wanna call it, that's the part I wanna get right into as quickly as possible. Because people these days are more territorial over their phones, they don't like to have their time wasted. So I think in this new era of cold calling, this work from home era where we're calling mobiles a lot, you have to get right into why you're calling and the way to do that is to just neutralize that opening by getting a formality and then going right into why you're calling. So hope this helps on your cold call openers. If it does, subscribe, let me know how it's going, and I'll see you on the next one.